Hey guys, Mario here and welcome back to yet another Minecraft house tutorial. So as you guys can see, today we have a very simple but aesthetic Mediterranean or Italian villa styled house. Features a ton of outdoor space and natural lighting um, with tons of detail including this pergola or grapevine overhang as well as these shutters and a unique roof design with trapdoors. This house is extremely easy to make as the main body of the house is comprised mostly of white concrete, which is pretty easy to get if you just have some gravel and sand in your world nearby. We utilize bricks and leaves as highlight blocks and a bit of stone and strip log to round off the build. We also have many minor details such as flower pots and carpet to just catch the eye. So let me know what you guys think about this style as opposed to my normal rustic house and let's get started. Alrighty already guys. So I'm very excited to show off this house for you guys. These are the blocks we'll be using. So not a very huge variety in this style, but I think it does make for a lot of customization. You can honestly detail it however you want. So mainly the main body of the house uh, we have white concrete here, um, some brick accents, um, and for the roof as well, we have these slabs and stairs. And then mainly the detail pieces are made up of uh, these spruce blocks. Um, so no planks themselves, but we have stripped logs, all of the, uh, the plank detail pieces, I guess. So we have the slabs, the stairs. Um, now the trap door, you're going to need a lot of because we actually use it for the roof itself and for a lot of the details. And instead of glass, we have fences and fence gates um, for windows. Now the stone, um, it's mainly just for the chimney to add some contrast. Um, not a huge amount of it in the build. Some leaves for that detail, of course. Uh, campfires, lanterns, and all these are just detail pieces. So I'll put a screenshot up on screen right now so you can copy Pretty much the dimensions it is a little bit confusing since there's no actual framework where you just have walls roof and details unlike that we can kind of work around the framework but um with here we can't really do that so starting off here we're going to be taking our bricks and we're going to follow the sort of outline we have for the bricks here we're just going to be making an l shape and we're going to leave a space for a door here and we want to go up till we have five blocks so one two three four five and we'll fill this up. And then here one block um, with a one block space above the door, we're gonna have a fence just as a window there. Um, so that's sort of our brick highlight for the main door. Now for the rest of the house, it's pretty much gonna be white concrete here. And we're gonna follow the framework, uh, not really the framework, well we have the floor plan. So we're going to connect it up like so and it'll wrap around the entire house like so um, and now we want to build this up until we have seven blocks so one two three four five six seven Okay guys, so upon filling up all these walls, um, we do want to fill up this block as well, just so that we have um, we have that bit of wall connecting up, because uh, we are going to have the roof. Uh, now for here, we're going to get started with uh, just this basic part of the roof for this uh, front door here, um, and it is very simple. We're going to get our spruce slabs here, just run it all the way down, and we're going to have our basic... Uh, very shallow uh, steeped roof it's not steeped roof peaked roof very very shallow here and we sort of get that flat cowboy hat look um, like so and that's just the roof for the front um, and now we're gonna be looking at some windows for the rest of this house now so get out your uh, spruce fence so going one block from the edge of this white concrete we're gonna go uh, here have a one by two window Go one more block in between and we're gonna have a one by one window here um, And now for our second floor, we're gonna go up one two three blocks 
and carve out a 1x2 window horizontally, but not fill it in with fences. <coughs> uh, just to provide some contrast, we're going to have a more open uh, window there. And with this Mediterranean style, I do feel uh, that works very nicely. You have the sea breeze that just comes in here, obviously. Uh, little pond breeze in our super fat world, but uh, that's besides the point here um, on the side We're going to be going one two three blocks and then Starting from the top we'll have a one by oh not actually fill it up with fence Just carve that out this back wall. We're just gonna have one on the second floor as well go one block across one block down and We'll have a fence window there bottom floor for the most part is all gonna be empty we're gonna have a chimney here so no window and for this last uh, white wall we do have seven blocks so we want to go one two three right in the middle have another one by two uh, vertical window with the fences there so that is all our basic windows uh, but for this trapdoor roof it is simple but it's also easy to mess up um, so I like to keep all the trapdoors facing the same direction um, But we're gonna start with the trim here um, So starting in the corner, we're gonna have one at this level then we're gonna have um, One trapdoor here and pretty much every other block We go down a level so then here we go up a level up a level and these are really hard to do while you're flying because you need a shift shift click it Ah, okay. Any hoosers, yeah. Something like that. Boom. And then for here, space that out. We have a top one and a top one. So, with the rest of these, I like to keep them all the same direction going. So, I'm going to hop into time lapse mode right quick and commentate over how to finish this. So, I highly recommend you guys to put down a layer of full blocks first and then place your trap doors on top of that filling it all the in to the edge of the walls and then you can break the blocks underneath coming back around to the side we're going to continue that pattern with alternating lower trap doors and then filling in uh with the higher trap oh dokly guys so you should have something like this for your final product of this roof a lot of this was inspired by a reddit post that i'll link uh, in the comments but any hoosers, we're going to spin around to this portion of the house now and work on this part of the roof. Now, I'm a little bit frustrated just because this is my my third time doing this now. Um, I messed up the recording one of the times. I messed up the dimensions another time. So I apologize if I run through a little bit fast. Um, but you want to get out your brick here. I have stone for some reason. Okay, you want to get out your brick, stairs, and slabs. And now for these two corners, we're going to go upside down and connect it with another upside down like that. And you want to do the same for this corner. So you should have two little edges like that. And we're just going to skip this middle part for now, but slowly go up uh, with a simple slope. And you want to end it one block over the wall like so. We can do the same on the other side. And now by doing this, you can see we are going to have to fill in a couple more spots in the wall. So you can go ahead and do that. And I'm just doing the minimum uh, number of blocks that you need just so it looks normal from the outside. Uh, so what I mean is like you could fill this bottom part in, but you don't have to. Obviously, it does give you more space on the inside. So yeah, it's pretty nice. Uh, now with this, before we fill it in, we're going to finish off this side. Um, so we have these two edges and we're actually going to run it straight across uh, But then I thought hey, it looks a little bit plain. So what we can actually do is um, Every other block we're going to place a slab underneath and then on top of these we're going to put um, a slab on top every other block as well um, So your end product you get this sort of like castle-y uh, I think they're called crem crenellations. I don't know the little the little castle things and it ends up looking pretty nice and You can continue just by filling in the rest of the roof with your slabs here very very simple And there we are um, And now 
uh, we have most of our roof done we can start with the detailing so for this part of the roof I will show you guys what to do since we're already over here we'll just start with the details on this side of the house so you want to take your stripped spruce logs get your trap doors and we're pretty much going to count one block from the edge on either side so one block here one block here and place strip logs all the way to the top um, stopping at this top block um, so right here you don't want to go all the way all the way so you, sh you should have two pillars like that now we're gonna have two front facing uh, brick stairs and then we're gonna complete it by having a little arch so have full blocks there and then another I guess full block so you have a ar little arch going like that and of course this still looks very plain so we're gonna get our brick stairs here get two upside down here and you want to complete it with a trap door above this window and this really just acts as a sort of a shutter if you imagine it closes onto the window like that and we're going to be using this detail on a lot of the other windows as well uh, so along with that we're going to go uh, two blocks up from the brick here place it on this lower half and make a nice trap door arch like that so there we finished the physical details we can then add some carpet, some flower pots. And now my proof of concept build, I just have like a little cactus, um, which I think works very well. And it ties this uh, sidewall together pretty nice. Now moving along uh, to the rest of the house, we are gonna be adding these shutters going along. And now obviously this trap door is in the way, so we can't do one here. But for this window, I do have a sideways shutter so i'm just placing a full block right in front of the fence and then you put a trap door uh, leaning against this break the full block and now you imagine that it closes onto the window that way a very nice simple detail piece for this window you want to do the same uh, so you have uh, the easiest way to do this is just to have two full blocks like so and we're gonna have the shutter out to the right side there we have it there's our window and for here, since we have this nice open space, we're gonna have a flower pot and a nice lily of the valley. New favorite flower, by the way. And now for these two, we're gonna have a upward window shutter here. We're gonna leave this one be. And then for this, we will put two full blocks in front and we're gonna have a shutter on either side of the window, like so give it that nice symmetrical look here we're gonna have the carpet once again for some highlights and we'll have a blue flower just to fit in with the blue carpet now since we're at the front i will do this little brick portion wrapping around the house if you saw from the b-roll earlier we're gonna take our brick stairs and this little slab for the roof is actually in the way so we're gonna break this put a front facing stair like that and then we can put the slab back on top just raise it one block it still looks fine and now with the stair we're gonna be doing this every other block like so just have a front facing one and around the corner we're going to do our wrap technique that we did on the roof there then keep going every other block wrap around and then every other block and now in between these stairs we're gonna be having uh, brick slabs on the lower half of the stairs so just come around like this fill in these slabs in and now it still looks a little bit flat right so now we go in with our stairs once again underneath all these slabs we're gonna be having upside down brick stairs and we're gonna leave the corners be just skip the three blocks on the corner underneath this slab we go every other block skip the corner and these two we have an upside down stair so that looks very nice so we're gonna fill in these gaps with our uh, spruce detail pieces here we have our slabs and our trap doors so starting from the left we're gonna be having slabs and trap doors alternating so lots of every other block alternation going on so here slab trap door slab and then trap door on the corner slab trap door slab trap door slab trap door on the corner and we finish it off like that so that is a very nice little detail piece going around 
and now i like this because instead of having just like a big flat white wall we now have a clear split between the bottom floor and the top floor and it adds just that little bit of extra contrast that you need to tie the house together and almost forgot we're gonna have another shutter here at the front for this little window because it's very flat in the front so we're gonna head over to the chimney here so now we really only have the chimney and this side little overhang get out your three different types of stone and the stairs so I'm going to build the entire chimney just out of smooth stone first to show you guys what it's gonna look like and then afterwards we shall texture it so starting from the middle you're just gonna build a pillar all the way up here going through the roof and around this height uh, give or take and then on the sides we're gonna be going up uh, four blocks so one two three four have a stair one two three four have a stair of course it's very flat so we're gonna come out here to the middle go up one two blocks have a, another stair and finish it off with two stairs on the side like so so that is our very basic chimney now we're just gonna texture it up um, I'm gonna go mostly andesite here not too much cobble because in my mind cobble is really like the rundown like eroded stone while andesite is more like un like a different kind of stone so you want to prioritize um, andesite and stone over cobble uh, just for me at least and I just like the way andesite looks a lot better so um, utilize all your different types of stairs there and I think that looks pretty good for what we want and we'll have cobble there now for the very tip here the old meta of course was to have like a stair there have some cobwebs but we're living in the new ages boys we got campfire so we're gonna put a campfire there for our nice smoke effect and finish it off with some trap doors so just like that a lot of our detail work is done of course we still need to add some greenery uh, but first we're going to work on this uh, little side uh, yard pagoda sort of thing so we're gonna go one two three blocks and have our side door right here we are going to start one block from either side uh, just from this side first one block from the right we're gonna break this stair and have four fences going like so and we can do the same on the other side one block away from the wall and we're gonna count one two three leave a three uh, three wide gap there and go up to four blocks with your fences again and now for this side we're gonna connect them up with fence gates and fences alternating like so and for this side um, we're gonna have all fences this side symmetrically fence gates whoops you want to make sure they're facing the right way oh man okay like so very nice so that is sort of your framework for the overhang now continuing here we're going to have uh, all fence gates running across so you have one two three oops three 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 and we're going to break the trap door and just have it fully connect to the wall there one two three we'll keep the stair here one two three break this slab connect it to the wall and one two three keep the stair and for this one we'll connect it to the wall as well so pretty much the rule of thumb is get rid of the wood spots keep the brick spots and that is our basic overhang um, now we're gonna add some campfires because um, we do have this very beautiful log texture that comes from it so I like to have them uh, I'm gonna face it the other way actually I like to have them with this log facing outward so I'm gonna place them like so boom and yeah we'll go across all the same way like this boom and of course this is a huge fire hazard <laughs> um uh, look at this guys what if we just kept it like this <laughs> huge barbecue on the house all right now we're gonna extinguish these um 
you know water buckets are not the right way to go i'm just gonna say that uh where are they at splash water bottles just like so uh you have to get it right on them i don't yeah it only extinguishes one at a time we'll just get a bunch of these water bottles not too hard to fill up and you have your nice wood log textures going around the outside very very nice and now comes the fun part. The most fun part, in my opinion, is getting this leaf. Uh, the leaf spamage. Not really spam, but uh, you want to make like a very windy vine going down. So don't have too many straight blocks, but you don't want it to look too bushy either. So something like that. Um, can I have some bushes here? Um, have some more on this side and not all of them even have to run down okay um for this one here i'm just gonna break this fireplace or the, this this log campfire and just have it naturally curved down like that we don't want some awkward like going over the top deal um, you guys can probably do a better job than me. I'm a little bit rusty at this But just have some leaves going on and for the rest of the house. We'll do the same Something like that and don't go overboard um, This wall definitely have a little bit of something going on. You can even put regular vines Just because it's such a plain like brick wall. I think it'd be good to have some vines going on um have a couple here um and in this corner as well but really don't go overboard don't go like blah, blah, blah. just oh man this guy's in the way <laughs> just like that i think that's enough just to get some extra green highlights on the house very very nice um and now to really wrap it up we're gonna include some outdoor furniture um my go-to chair design nowadays is the stairs and trap doors very nice fits in with the style nicely and we can have a nice little table as well yeah we'll have it three wide like this then we just have trap doors over the top nice table space little coffee table you can put your drinks on here or something and then we can have little bit of outdoor storage as well get some barrels uh, maybe you have wine in here or something just anything you please for the aesthetics all right and maybe like a chest boom all right very very nice um so that's pretty much the entirety of the house Ooh, ooh, ooh. and before i forget guys we are going to add some lighting of course actually this lantern you should be adding lanterns or else it looks pretty bad at night so we're actually gonna time set night for this just to see you know look look how spooky this looks at night right so on all of these raised trapdoor portions i'm gonna be doing a hanging lantern um actually we'll skip this middle one right here 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 oh we can't do one there here here and these two as well oops yeah by the doorway <coughs> we are gonna hang two right here it almost looks like they're like placed on the trap doors but you have this little chain add some detail um around back uh, I don't think we need too many more. We don't we can add one there. Yeah, why not? I think that's a good spot For this outdoor area we can have one on the barrel Just lighting it up at night uh, You know what we'll have like an extra Flower pot here too. Maybe just as like a, a cup or as an actual flower pot, but we'll keep it empty I'm very very fond of this style and I do have a much bigger version of this house designed and ready to show you guys if you are so interested in seeing a tutorial of that. So 
thank you for watching this house tutorial guys sorry that it's taken me so long um it's been sort of a lack of motivation and also just i've uh, been pretty busy with school and whatnot as per usual so um anyways thanks for bearing with me guys i uh, hope you enjoyed the tutorial let me know if you want to see a bigger version of this house it has a pool it has a barbecue and some very other nice features so uh that's gonna be it for this one guys hope you all enjoyed leave a comment if you did uh leave a like and sub if you want to see more so thanks guys and i'll catch you all in the next video peace out goodbye